This video will explain the details of installing, operating, and maintaining your Bravo G4. For additional information, please consult the operator's manual that comes with your unit. To ensure years of safe, trouble-free service, please read these instructions before operating this unit and keep them for future reference. Thank you for adding the Bravo G4 Chamber Autoclave to your practice. The Bravo G4 is a countertop chamber autoclave that delivers speed, capacity, and efficiency to your practice. The Bravo G4 incorporates both a pre-vacuum to remove air and ensure perfect steam penetration, and a post-vacuum to help with drying. Bravo G4's technology connects and sends cycle data directly to your computer and smart devices. Maintenance reminders are helpful tools to keep your Bravo G4 in good working order. If your Bravo G4 has not been connected to the G4 network, consult your operator's manual to register your unit using the Cloud Web Portal activation code. Easily connect to the G4 network using a wireless network or Ethernet connection in a few simple steps. Your Bravo G4 steam sterilizer comes with the following items. When installing the Bravo G4, Ensure there is adequate space around the machine to provide effective ventilation, including 20 millimeters or 0.78 inches space for the top, left, and right sides of the machine, and 70 millimeters or 2.75 inches space at the back. Spacers are provided with the unit to ensure the proper spacing at the back. Filling and draining options. The Bravo G4 requires high-quality, demineralized water. The unit's water quality sensor is designed to protect the unit and will not allow it to function with water that has a conductivity of more than 15 microsiemens per centimeter. Water conductivity is automatically measured at the start of each sterilization or test cycle, and the relative value is indicated in the cycle report. It is important to select the water filling method in the settings menu before you begin filling the unit. Follow these simple steps to select the correct water filling setting. Select the settings icon followed by preferences. Select the water filling icon, which will bring you to a list of manual and automatic filling options. The Bravo G4 offers numerous manual and automatic filling options. With the unit powered on, manually fill your unit by removing the top cap and use the funnel provided to carefully pour demineralized water into the reservoir. As well, there is a quick connector port at the front of the unit that can also be used for manually filling. Using the manual fill bottle and connector provided, insert the tubing connector into the port located to the farthest right when the unit door is open. Manually fill using either method until the max level icon appears on the screen in yellow, accompanied by a beeping sound from the unit. The preferred method for filling is to use the automatic filling option, which ensures your sterilizer has a constant supply of demineralized water. This can be done using one of the several options available, such as the H2O Auxiliary EV Kit, the Automatic Fill Kit, and the Pure 100 and Pure 500 water filtration systems. To connect to an automatic water filling system, connect the accessories tubing to the port located at the rear of the machine and follow the directions outlined in the operator's manual. Ensure the tubing runs freely from the back. It should not be sharply bent, crushed, or obstructed in any way. Draining wastewater can be done in two ways. The recommended draining setup for the Bravo G4 is to connect the exhaust hose directly to a drain using the direct-to-drain kit supplied with your unit. This will prevent accidental waste bottle overflow. This is also the best draining option for when you are using an automatic filling system. Connect your system to automatic drainage by removing the cap and clip on the rear port of the autoclave. 
Connect the plastic tube onto the elbow union supplied with the unit, then refit the clip and fasten the supplied clamp to the drain siphon. The second drainage option is to use a waste bottle. Remember to carefully monitor the waste bottle to avoid overflow. The best practice is to empty the bottle every time you refill the water reservoir. When setting up the filling and drainage tubing, it is important to make sure the drainage tubes are not bent, crushed, or obstructed in any way. Bravo G4 Icons and Settings The cycles and test icons give you access to the Bravo G4's sterilization and test cycles. The Bravo G4 offers five validated cycles, including universal, universal rubber and plastics, extended, solid wrapped, and hollow unwrapped cycles. In addition, a user-defined custom cycle is available. Please consult the operator's manual for more information about the custom cycle. The Bravo G4 offers three test cycles to periodically check the unit's effectiveness. A vacuum test, designed to run during a cold cycle at the start of the day, a helix or Bowie Dick test, and a cycle that allows the vacuum and helix or Bowie Dick test to run back to back. If the office wishes, these tests can be set to run prior to your office opening, allowing you to begin sterilizing instruments as soon as your office opens. Follow the instructions in the operator's manual for properly performing these tests. Please follow local guidelines for the required frequency for performing all sterilization monitoring tests. There are also some additional system icons available. Select the Data Management icon to set how you would like the unit to log cycle data with the option of USB, Wi-Fi, Printer, Ethernet, and Cloud icons. Select the icon that best suits your data logging needs. All cycle data stored in the internal memory of the sterilizer should be transferred onto the USB. To download the sterilization cycles and test files, select the Data Management icon and then press the USB icon. The cycle report files are in PDF format. It is possible to select the number of cycles to download onto the USB key. It is important to remember not to turn on your sterilizer while the USB is inserted into the machine. This is because the unit automatically looks for new software updates anytime a USB is inserted when the machine is turned on. Since your Bravo G4 has enough built-in memory to save up to 10,000 cycles, having the USB inserted at all times is no longer necessary. The quick download icon is used to download the most recently unsaved cycles directly onto the USB key provided with the unit. This feature takes the guesswork out of data logging, ensuring that only the latest cycles that have not yet been transferred will be saved onto the USB key. The Info icon provides detailed information about your unit, such as the current firmware version, serial number, language, cycle count, connectivity status, and devices connected to the unit. The Door Unlock icon indicates if your door is locked or unlocked. Lastly, the Settings icon allows you to adjust the user's settings, features such as language, date and time, automatic reminders, user IDs, water filling settings, and preheating options are explained in detail in your operator's manual. Sterilizing instruments. Instruments must be cleaned, rinsed, dried, and wrapped before being placed in the Bravo G4. The Bravo G4 is available in three chamber sizes. 17 liter, 22 liter, and 28 liter, offering enough capacity to meet the needs of any practice size. The versatile chamber sizes can sterilize up to three cassettes or five trays for the 17 and 22 liter, or four cassettes or six trays for the 28 liter. Pouches should be carefully arranged on the tray, plastic side down, and in such a way that they do not overlap. Place the cassettes or pouches in the chamber and close the door. Select the cycle appropriate for the load and then press the start button to begin the cycle. 
When the sterilization and drying cycle is complete and the chamber pressure returns to the preset safety limits, the message, Cycle Completed, is displayed and the unit will audibly beep. Press the door unlock icon to open the door. Carefully open the door and retrieve the sterilized material using the tray extractor provided if using trays. Caution, contents may be hot, so remove with care. Regular maintenance will help to ensure safe and efficient operation of the Bravo G4 over the device's life. When performing any maintenance on the unit, remember that the unit's default standby mode is to maintain a hot chamber while turned on. Before cleaning the door and chamber, open the door and turn the unit off. Allow adequate time to cool before performing maintenance. Daily. The door plate, door seal, and external surfaces should be cleaned daily with a damp, lint-free cloth. Clean all the Bravo G4's external parts using a clean, lint-free cloth dampened with water and, if needed, a mild detergent. Dry the surfaces and remove any residue before powering the unit on. Weekly. Every week, clean the sterilization chamber and its accessories. As well, clean and disinfect the manual filling bottle and the wastewater bottle if applicable. Run one empty cycle after using any cleaner or soap. Helpful tip! Some cleaners may be too harsh on the internal components of the units. Rinse thoroughly with a cloth and water. Avoid pushing any soap inside the holes in the chamber. The anti-dust filter should be cleaned weekly as well. To clean the anti-dust filter, remove the filter from the lower part of the autoclave, thoroughly rinse with water, and dry it before refitting. The filter can also be cleaned using a jet of compressed air, making sure not to disperse any dust into the environment. Monthly. Clean the chamber racks and trays every month with a lint-free, water-dampened cloth. As well, drain and clean the internal water reservoir as per the instructions outlined in the operator's manual. If you have an external water storage tank used for automatic filling, it is also important to clean the tank following the manufacturer's instructions. Quarterly. The Bravo G4 will periodically display automatic maintenance warning messages to clean the chamber drain filter and lubricate the door lock after 250 cycles, which is roughly every three months. To clean the drain filter, open the sterilizer door and remove the cap using a coin or flat-bladed tool. Loosen the union that contains the filter. Remove the filter from its support and thoroughly clean it under a jet of running water and, if necessary, use a sharp tool to remove any large foreign bodies. If available, use a jet of compressed air to remove debris from the filter. Every six months. At 500 cycles, roughly every six months, the Bravo G4 will display an automatic maintenance warning message to clean the anti-dust filter and replace the bacteriological filter. Yearly, replace the door gasket every 1,000 cycles or 12 months, whichever comes first. A reminder message will appear on the screen when it is time to be replaced every 1,000 cycles. The Bravo G4 will also display an automatic maintenance warning message for general service every 3,000 cycles, which is roughly every three years. Additional details about installing, operating, and maintaining your SICAN Bravo G4 are all contained within the operator's manual. Please read these instructions before operating this unit and keep them for future reference. Thank you again for making the SICAN Bravo G4 part of your sterilization upgrade. Bravo G4. Sterilization. The smarter way.